President Obama to join the efforts and to join the Kyoto Protocol. We must defend Kyoto Protocol. And those who think that not defending Kyoto Protocol is the way forward are totally misguided. Because if you eliminate the balance of obligations between developed and developing countries, and I will say this to our colleagues from Western civil society, you have definitely sided with a small group of industrialists and their representatives in your executive branches. Nothing more than that. You have become an instrument of your governments. Whatever you say, whether you think it's because it's tactically shrewd or not, it's an error that you should not continue to make. We do believe equally that a very significant and substantial financial package, both for short term and long term, is necessary. How do we define that? It's simple. We must, in the avail or developed countries must avail in the next five years fast track financing. That fast track financing is at the equivalent of one percent of the GMP of developed countries. It's around five four hundred to five hundred billion dollars depending on where what happens to their economies. Of this, 150 billion dollars can be issued with immediate effect because as we speak today, the IMF is sitting over 283 billion dollars worth of SDRs that are not allocated simply sitting, doing absolutely nothing when we face the threats. Many of you would say $400 billion is a lot of money. Well, think about how much is being poured into your defense budgets. And which wars are you fighting? Is there another war greater than this war on climate change? I'm proud to announce that there will be 2.3 billion or 2.5 billion dollars available from now until 2012. <coughs> well, the sad news is 300 billion dollars was the amount of money that bankers in London City pocketed this year. So ask yourself, are your executive branches climate skeptics? Notwithstanding their utterances like Prime Minister of the UK that the cost of inaction on climate change is irreparable. His actions 
say he is worse than the worst of climate skeptics. If he allows bankers to pocket $300 billion because of incentivizing profit-seeking activities, and he says 500 million is the maximum that the United Kingdom government can afford to pay to support climate change. What are we saying? What are you saying?